Samsung has become the latest company to step into the world of wearable tech after unveiling the Galaxy Gear at IFA 2013. Offering users the ability to make calls, text, email, take photos, as well as, of course, tell the time, the Galaxy Gear has bagged a head start over the fabled Apple iWatch and also hopes to give competitors such as the Sony Smartwatch 2 a run for their money. So what is the Gear bringing to the game and how does it compare to its rivals? Let's take a closer look. The Galaxy Gear has a 1.63 inch 320x320 Super AMOLED color touchscreen to display all your notifications. In comparison, Sony is offering sports a lower res 1.6 inch 220x176 display, whereas the Pebble ditches the flashiness and opts for a monochrome e-ink display instead. For the time being, the Gear will only connect with the Tab 10.1 and Galaxy Note 3, and therein lies the first issue. The Note 3 is an expensive device as it is, costing over £600 SIM free. Add to this 299 for the gear and you're looking at a significant chunk of cash for the pair. Sony smartwatch is expected to come in cheap at around £170 and also offers greater compatibility from the get-go, with the company saying it will work with most Android phones. The Pebble goes one step further by offering functionality with both Android and iOS devices. It's also the cheapest here at $150. As for connectivity, both the Galaxy Gear and Pebble use Bluetooth 4.0 to sync with devices, whereas the Sony Smartwatch 2 opts for Bluetooth 3.0 instead. Sony's watch also comes packing NFC. Of course, one of the biggest deal makers or breakers for potential smartwatch buyers is battery. The Pebble promises a battery life of up to a week on a single charge. Meanwhile, Sony's watch should be able to go three to four days with normal use, or up to seven if you're more conservative, which seems pretty decent in our eyes. Unfortunately, the gear offers nowhere near as much juice, with the company saying you'll only get about a day's worth of use from one charge. We can see this as being a major issue for consumers because, let's face it, who wants to charge a watch every evening? As for the overall wow factor, Samsung's unique offering here is the strap mounted 1.9 megapixel camera, which can shoot 1080p video. It can also use augmented reality to translate foreign road signs. The Sony Smartwatch 2 opts for life proofing instead, offering water resistance, whereas the Pebble is waterproof up to 50 meters. To conclude then, the Galaxy Gear looks like an interesting piece of kit, but we definitely have a few concerns from the get-go, particularly when it comes down to battery life and price. We'll be giving it our full review soon though, so check back with TechRadar then for the official verdict, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.